In this video, I'm going to be giving my review and thoughts on Hocus Pocus 2, the sequel to the original film, 29 years later. Now, imagine telling people in 1993 that Hocus Pocus would go on to have this incredible legacy as a beloved Halloween classic. They would just be like, what? <laughs> yeah, no way. The film is a true phenom in how its popularity seemingly grows more and more as years go on. When I was a young you know, kid at like age seven or eight, back in like 2003 or 2004, no one really gave a shit about Hocus Pocus. You know, it'd be playing on the TV just to like fill time or fill a time slot. But now as the years have gone on, it has become that signature non-horror related Halloween film. I think the biggest reason why is because people love those Sanderson sisters. You know, they were truly wickedly delightful. And I would say for myself, do I think Hocus Pocus is a great movie? No. But it does have this sort of charm to it, mainly because of those Sanderson sisters. And this ends up being sort of a fun movie to watch during the Halloween time with its spirit, performances, flair, all that kind of stuff. By the way, 1993 was some year for Disney and Halloween, with Hocus Pocus releasing that year, and also The Nightmare Before Christmas, two staples of the Halloween season now. This film, Hocus Pocus 2, takes place 29 years after the original, where through another ingenious backup plan through, from Winifred, a couple of teens unknowingly bring back the Sanderson sisters, who then resume their plan to become all-powerful, ever young, and get revenge on the town of Salem with their own style and flair. As I mentioned, the reason the original film gathered the following that it has over the years isn't really because of the story, its concept, writing, or even direction. I mean, those elements didn't hurt it. But it's mainly because of those Sanderson sisters. As I mentioned, they were wickedly delightful, fun characters with their iconic looks, distinct fun personalities, and great performances from actresses Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najami as Winifred, Sarah, and Mary, Mary respectively. This sequel understands people's fascination with those witches and provides them with the kind of stuff and character moments fans would want to see from those Halloween queens. Now, due to the nature of the story here, you have to wait a little bit longer for them to get on screen and start doing their thing, unlike the original film where they're there right off the bat. But once they're there, you get the humor, you get the bickering, you get the style, and of course, another musical number, this time two of them. They also remember that while everyone loves these three now, you know, they are villains. The original film begins with them killing a little girl, and those villainous intentions remain in this film, and I was happy to see that remaining true to those characters. Now, like a lot of sequels these days where something originally from the 80s or 90s is now, you know, suddenly in modern times, there's no shortage of jokes when it comes to the wowness of modern day stuff, like selfies, new technology, dated references, and all that stuff. Thankfully, the movie doesn't go too overboard with that kind of humor, and to be honest, most of it I did find to be pretty funny. There's also a decent amount of meta humor here, centered on people's fascination with the original film. Although there was moment that one moment that made absolutely no sense where they treated the original film like it was some actual watchable movie. That was a very strange moment indeed, and I wonder what they were thinking with that particular scene. An area though where I do think the original film was definitely stronger though, was the story centered around those who were not the witches in the first film. In the original, there was a nice emotional arc centered around a kid from the 1600s that had been cursed as a black cat by those witches, to where in the modern day he had to atone for his past transgressions. And like the trio of kids that we followed in that film, you know, they were a decent group to follow around on this adventure and watch them take on the Sanderson sisters. That element is not as strong in this film. I didn't vehemently dislike the kids that we followed here. I mean, they were fine, they were okay. But it definitely was not the highlight of this film, I will put it that way. And every time it gets sort of centers on them, you're like, all right, let's hurry up and cut back to the Sanderson sisters as that's where everyone kind of wants to see here. Now, I was very curious though as to the direction this film would go with the actual ending. As people obviously love the Sanderson sisters, but they are villains. So I was wondering what kind of a resolution we would get here. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's definitely a more nuanced ending than the original. And though I did, you know, kind of like the direction they were going in, I was like, ooh, you know, that's kind of interesting they're going this way. Some part about the ultimate ending did leave me a little unsatisfied and wondered, is this really going to how we're going to leave things off for those three? Like I said, there were elements about it I did like, some elements I didn't like. Uh, I don't know. In the end, I was just kind of like, well, all right, I guess some of it works, but some of it doesn't. So in a way, I was unsatisfied by the actual ending ending. But in the end, though, I did have fun with the film. 
You know, if you love the original, then you'll have fun with this one too, as it provides plenty of wickedly delightful Sanderson fun. Now, is it a great movie? Oh, God, no. But neither of the, is the original, if everyone is being honest. 7 out of 10 for Hocus Pocus 2. For reference, I would have given I would give the original film a 7.5 out of 10. You know, 7, point, 7 out of 10 is like a solid, solid funnish movie in my book. And that's kind of what I thought about this one, judging on the expectations that, you know, this is Hocus Pocus 2. So there you go. So that'll do it with my review of Hocus Pocus 2. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching.